What's going on guys? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go over the five nootropics I think are going to take your fast to the next level. Um, going to go, I think, in reverse order. I'm going to try to keep it in reverse order. Um, coming out right out of the gate. Um, first of all, fair warning if you're going to fast. Don't do what I did if you watched my last video. Big mistake. Stay hydrated. Think it'd be water, right? Oh, I got to drink water. Wrong. Um, at least that's what my dumb self thought. And... Um, Water is not enough. So leave it to me and screw up something as simple as drinking water. If there's a way to screw up something simple, drinking water, I will achieve it. Just know that. Um, but electrolytes, uh, sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, B vitamins. B, uh, B vitamins aren't electrolytes. Everyone's going to call me. Hey, yeah, you, this guy doesn't always talk. But you could throw them in. I don't know. Um, I think they're beneficial. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm not a doctor. It's not medical advice. Not legal advice, not relationship advice. Um, let's get right into it. Number five, in my opinion, is going to be green tea extract. I've never taken it solo, but I've taken it in a lot of blends, and I think I can really pinpoint the effect, I believe, <laughs> anyway. And uh, very effective, good, smooth, uh, significant, not like very significant, but you feel it. And um, I enjoy the, using it. It's smooth, nice, uh, pretty subtle yet significant somehow to completely contradict myself but yeah pretty good pretty good results pretty positive I uh, don't think it's powerful enough to really cause anything you know totally mind altering life changing but yeah definitely good experience number four is going to be guarana again really solid um, but definitely talk to your doctor before trying any of these because just keep in mind anything you put in your body that's going to have an effect is going to have a side effect you know something's changing in your body so even the effect could be a side effect in your opinion this is getting too confusing and trippy um whatever talk to your doctor make sure you do your research um i don't want to steer you wrong or get put you in harm's way but guarana over the counter pretty um pretty solid i've heard that's what i heard on a podcast it can make your blood thicker if you take it with other stimulants but um i've also heard that it has a lot of pros as far as your health but but yeah do your research um i wouldn't all these things i would you know take with a grain of salt don't abuse don't go over the top um but yeah number three um really really big fan of this one and this is definitely something that is in my opinion going to be the bang for your buck if you got cash laying around you want to try to up the fasting nootropic game uh ginkgo biloba really really solid big fan of this this is um I remember it now because I just did this whole video and didn't record the whole thing and it took like five minutes trying to remember what an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor is. I think I'm probably still got it wrong. But it stops the breakdown of choline I heard on a podcast. It's not my knowledge. Um, I think I read it. But yeah. Um, basically, it's, there's like medications that do that that treat Alzheimer's. Um, I think they actually cause the uh, transmission of acetylcholine too. I don't know. I'm not a neurologist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist just a guy wearing a hat doing a video but yeah i've heard it stops the breakdown of acetylcholine i've taken it really solid experience uh kind of just only thing that's really crazy noticeable is kind of like a shift into like um kind of just like uh not tunnel vision like when you're got a ton of adrenaline going but really shifts you into like a more focused goal-oriented mindset which um which i definitely like I definitely very positive um pretty subtle but you definitely notice it working and in my opinion in a positive way so um worth the money but do your own research you know like people have had negative side effects with everything so um like stuff as simple as caffeine melatonin i just gave away the last one um but yeah number two this one i'm i'm always surprised of how significant the effect is but it's going to be ginseng um i love this stuff it's one of those things that have been studied for years, I think. No, I'm just saying that because it's from China. And I, like, I feel like you Google ginseng, it's like 1000 in BC, you know, it's Chinese Empire, you know, use this and feel. I don't know. I don't know. Do your own research. I'm not sure about that. But I, I, I know it's been around for a while. I know a lot of people use it. It's in a lot of stuff. They use it in like natural, <laughs> naturopathic, homeopathic, what is it called? Holistic medicine. I know they use it to treat a lot of things. My. I'm going to get sad. My my dog, my yellow lab that passed away, Sammy, God rest his soul, my, my buddy. He, when we took him to the vet, he had a tumor 
and they thought it was going to pass. Uh, I'm sorry, we, we thought he had a tumor. They thought it was going to be not serious. Turns out he got an x-ray. It was really serious. Um, they were talking about putting him down. We asked, what, what can we do that's not crazy expensive? You know, because I wasn't take, paying, taking the bill. If I had the money, obviously, I would have done anything to save my dog. But the most affordable thing that we could get was the veterinarian actually uh, prescribed him like a red ginseng pill. And um, we we gave it to him. I, I used to work in um, a hospital. I had like a bunch of syringes. I'm not anyone. I work in a different, totally different field, law enforcement now. Um, I had like a little uh, syringe that they give the, you know, they flush the IV with a little 10 milliliters of salt water. <clears throat> I crushed uh, the ginseng, put it up and shot it in his mouth. He actually ended up being, it really, really changed the game. Like another two days he, we had him and he was in a lot of less discomfort and felt definitely like really really helped and it's a natural thing ginseng um but i take it i have i really really like how it, um the effect of it um been taking it on and off for a bit but i really like it it's not crazy noticeable but it's definitely noticeable that it's significant but it's not like crazy like um like like a totally runs up and smacks you on the behind but it's definitely Definitely something uh, when it kicks in. I, I very, very much like it. It's very smooth, very, um, very positive in my opinion. But again, everybody has different experiences. Number one, I said it before because I'm dumb, caffeine. Uh, by far my favorite thing I've ever tried as far as the tropics. Definitely going to take the fasting game to the next level again. Hydrate with electrolytes on this because it is a diuretic. I'm so smart, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely going to make you go to the bathroom, pee. Um, so you definitely, definitely want to be getting your water in and your electrolytes and not too much water. My doctor is, my primary care doctor is actually a nephrologist, which I know what it means because I'm smart still, is a kidney doctor. Um, everyone give me a cloud for that. Pat on the back. Um, so smart. But yeah, he told me two liters a day is good. Again, it depends on like your activity level, your cell. Like if you're going in the sauna and running, I'm I'm sure you need more. But do your research, talk to your doctor about that. Don't don't <laughs> definitely don't take my advice because again, watch my last video. Drinking water, even I can screw up. But caffeine, life changing. If you don't take it now, I would say maybe really think about it because um, it's 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 life it really is all very life changing you you could talk to anyone that's tried to quit caffeine in the past it's not it's not no easy task um i know me personally i i have been taking caffeine since i was like 16 17 i wish i knew about it earlier well i did know about it my parents used to pound it but i thought it, coffee was disgusting i didn't know you could like put iced coffee and make it delicious and all that but now i drink black coffee so i'm a man i think i like to say i am maybe um But yes, um, caffeine, not easy to come off. I actually, in the hospital um, this month, quit caffeine for the first time in my life. Um, and I've tried many times, for di not because I wanted to, for like jobs and stuff and tried to cut back. But it always kind of comes back and it's very easy to get lose the wheel on that. But... Uh, two for two days, not by choice. I mean, the, the the doctors were saying I couldn't have anything by mouth. Pause. Um, the doctors were saying I couldn't drink or eat anything, so uh, I didn't have it for two. And then they didn't bring it with. Um, then I finally was able to eat. And they didn't bring it the next day, and I actually didn't want it really. I mean, I did. I said I did. Like I thought, but I wasn't that upset about it. I thought it was going to be a big problem. The only thing, the first night, it was I had a pretty bad headache. Definitely not the worst headache of my life, but. I took um, melatonin, knocked me out, felt fine. Didn't really think about it. Then they brought it with my breakfast when I like two days later, and I was like, all right, yeah, this is uh, the stuff's the best. But I was only having like one cup, and um, which they say is like a hundred milligrams. I was having like five hundred a day, which I don't recommend. Um, before that, prior to that, but uh, withdrawal was was pretty nuts. But I, I mean, pretty not that bad but I think if I tried to do it like while I was working and like a normal day it was only because I was just laying in bed so I didn't really like you know I was just sleeping and on my laptop and trying to read and like study and so but anyway that's off topic so caffeine definitely be careful if you haven't tried it know how significant it's going to be if you 
because people have tried to quit and failed and become very addicted. Um, warning, warning, warning. So yes, keep that in mind, especially for me. I, I love caffeine. I couldn't imagine, you know, um, I love it. It is my favorite thing. Coffee is my favorite drink. <coughs> coffee. I, I love coffee a lot. It's like a actually a part of my life. So like a big part of my life. You see the sign back here. Um, if you, I got a Dunkin' Donuts thing on the table. Love coffee, caffeine. Can't say enough about it, how much I love it. But So take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, stop babbling. Thanks for watching.